Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Conan Exiles. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day. Our Yogg pit got destroyed, and it looks like the other altar that Slip put over here is also gone. Ah, uh, darn. <laughs> uh, so yeah, uh, what we got to do today is uh, we need to relearn our religion. And so we're going to be heading off uh, to find Jamila, Jamila, J someone uh, way off in the wild blue yonder. Uh, I believe their location is right over here in this area. I looked it up online and we're going to be doing that so we can learn some new religion or learn our religion again because I used one of those potions, uh, the yellow lotus potion, and didn't realize that the altar cost so much and it didn't refund those points. And so it actually makes, you know, the altar like stupid, stupid expensive uh, when that happens. So I'm going to steal whoever stuff is in there and... Uh, yeah, so we're going to be heading off in a viscerally direction. We're going to follow that river down. I guess that's probably going to be the best bet. And we're going to try and find this lady. Now, uh, as far as I know, she should be fairly easy to find. Um, I believe I believe she might be a wanderer or maybe I, I don't really know. Um, I have no idea how these religion things work. So we're going to head out there together. And uh, we're going to try and figure it out, but I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to start that direction. Uh, if I find anything cool along the way or, you know, see anything crazy, I will probably bring you guys back. Um, I'm probably going to try and do some some gathering for aloe and different stuff while I'm on my way. Uh, just because, you know, we're, we're running along the river, it's probably a good idea. All right, so I think we're getting relatively close here. There are a bunch of spiders in this area. Oh, apparently they're pretty easy to kill, though. There we go. Um, I thought I heard something else, but I guess that was probably my imagination. All right, so we're, we're getting very, very close as far as I know. I, I really hope they're not, like, up on that cliff. Because uh, that would make things um, marginally harder for us. Uh, let's go ahead. Got that crippling poison, yo. Keeps me from running. All right, so I, I do believe I gotta go up and around this bend here, just a just a ways. I've never been this far over on the map, so it's it's definitely interesting to to check out. Just want to keep going here. Um, I don't I don't see any camps or anything yet, and maybe this is a wanderer. I'm not entirely sure. Oh, there's the uh, the sandstone pirate ship. That's cool. Okay, so there's a couple of people over there. Oh, what's up? Crocodilian, how you doing? I've lost my shield somewhere. I have no idea where it went. So I, I need to get another one of those made. Oh, you're still alive. There we go. All right. Um, so I think we're getting close. They might be up on those ledges. Oh, what's up, Rock Nose? How you doing, man? Where, where are you going, Rock Nose? Are you coming back? You're coming back for more. I just, I've been playing a whole bunch of For Honor, and I feel like a Viking. There we go. All right, so let's run over to these guys. This might be one of them. How's it going, fellas? Oh no, you're just a fighter. Okay. Got that one taken out. Got that one taken out. Okay, I still I don't see anything up there. There's an anchor that's fallen down. Yeah, I'm definitely thinking I need to be up. Um, hmm. Let's see. This this is pretty cool. This is like a an anchor that's fallen down. I'm really curious why that looks like a, a pirate ship. Like I, I feel like there's some significance there, but I don't know what it is. All right, so. Come up this way. Uh, I hear people shooting. I hear other spiders. What's up, little spider? Alright. So, unfortunately, I don't have... 
any stuff to regen with. I bet you these guys are going to be up even higher. Hmm. I might need to get across there. That might need to be the case. I might need to get across there and then go up. Because I didn't see any other direction up. Uh, let's see. I could go down, go up over there. All right. I'm going to do that. All right, so I was wrong. I went over to the the other side of the, the land bridge. There's no way up there. So I came back, went up this side, and this is looking a lot more promising. Take out that spider. There's another spider. Got him dead. All right, so we're, we're getting close. I need to go guess more this way I feel like we're really close I don't know where this lady would be if she wasn't up here um, this is like the exact spot on the map that it says she would be interesting yeah um, I, I mean I need to be up this way a little bit further but I still don't see her. Hmm. 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 Hey, look! I found her. Uh, I don't know if she just spawned here or what. But uh, press E to talk. Learn religion, acolyte of Mitra. Learned acolyte. Very nice. So we'll talk if you keep your distance. Come to gawk at the captain who lost her ship and her crew. Twice the captain. And twice the exile now, thanks to. All right. Um. <sighs> when I was exiled here, like the others, I was adrift. All right. So we 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 learned our stuff. That was actually a lot easier than I thought. Um, I really did think that that would be a lot more difficult to have to deal with. And it sounds like she's like the old uh, captain of that ship over there. So that's actually really cool to kind of find that out. Um, I thought about, you know, maybe building a ship in game kind of like that, but I don't think I could build it to that scale. But I do think it'd be really, really cool to build a, a pirate ship in game. All right. So, I, well, I really, I thought that would be a lot harder than what it was. So I guess what I'll do now is I'm probably gonna look up some of the other religions find out where their guys are and uh, and see about learning the rest of them because I mean if they're all that simple why not learn all of them all right guys so the next one we're gonna go after is Mechamosis, and I believe Mechamosis is the uh, the set priest uh, or the set teacher and so we got to find this lady now I believe she's gonna be up in that area that uh, that that big old temple up there. It's kind of where it would appear. So I think I need to try and find my way up and over there. Actually, it looks like it's gonna be pretty darn simple. Uh, since this one is so close to the house, it actually makes it relatively easy. Um, we did level up. Uh, I wanna go ahead and throw some points. I got crit and encumbrance. Uh, let's do our health pool. I think that is probably pretty important. And then we can't learn this one till level 50. And what is this? A throne made of stone? The royal? The royal. Um, so we're at 42. We we definitely have a little bit ways to go as far as leveling is concerned. But, um, you know, we're, we're getting closer and closer and closer and closer. Um, I do want to kind of mess with some of the miter stuff. But unfortunately, like, you can't play stuff really close. And with the bugs that are going on right now, um, it's it's just a kind of a pain when you lose your your altars every... I want to say it's every, every time the server restarts or updates or something. So, and that's happening, like, once a day. And so I don't know that I'm going to actually get into those just yet. But I probably... Looks like somebody's starting to build a house over there. I uh, I will get into them as soon as that bug's fixed, where they disappear every so often. Uh, definitely will um, 
get into you know the religion stuff. Uh, we lost our, our pit of yog. I think Maz might have upgraded it to tier three, and we've already lost it. So it's it's not like the biggest problem. What is this? another spider? Okay. Oh, another one. All right, get this guy. All right, we got the spiders. Okay, so looking around, um, if I turn that way, she should be... Oh, there, I can see her. Okay, cool. All right, we no longer have the crippling poison. All right, cool. So she was actually really simple to, uh, to find, which is awesome. It's a matter of... Oh, that's a he. That's not even a she. Uh, I want to turn up the sound because uh, there's like voice volume in this game. Let's go ahead and turn that up so we can hear this guy when we talk to him. There we go. All right. Uh, let's talk to you. You, you're interesting. No closer, exile. Learn the religion of Set. Skin from your bones. You have the look of the lost stranger, abandoned, exiled, and adrift in purpose. Fool. Fool. You need to forge a purpose for yourself in this place. These bracelets we wear sap at our will, suppress our true powers. They are designed to make us meek and pliable. Do not allow your thoughts to be trapped. Resist it. Interesting. All right, so the next one we got to find is Nunu the Cannibal. Um, I have no idea where that one is, so I'm going to have to look that one up and find that one. All right, guys, I believe that I am getting close. Um, well, actually, I'm still pretty far. Um, it's not too terribly far. It's just kind of a, a matter of going over this way and probably, yeah, staying down here. And, um, and kind of going, I think it's like right in here, maybe. Uh, hopefully it's not up on the cliff. I've made that mistake twice already. Uh, well, I guess only once. Uh, thinking that one was somewhere and it really wasn't. But, um, yeah, I mean, I think it's pretty awesome that you can learn this stuff. And the fact that, you know, you can use those yellow lotus potions and then go relearn uh, your religion stuff without having to cost you the knowledge points to do so phenomenal like absolutely phenomenal I cannot tell you how bummed out I was when I used that potion and then realized I had to spend 50 points to get it back I was not happy so this looks to be Nunu what's up Nunu how's it going man how are you doing Mr. Cannibal stay your hand stranger Come, look into the pit. Look the into the pit. Empty your bones awaits therein. All right. I am his Learn shaman, religion. You know, your coming was revealed to me in the whispering of a bat's wings. Wow. My heart has a question. Do you know the Lord of Empty Your Bones? He knows you, child, through the flesh of your kind. Interesting. He hungers to know more. All right, let's take a look in the pit. Um, I can see my eyeballs. That's weird. All right, cool. So those guys, I mean, that was that was a really simple thing to do today. Uh, we were just able to to run to those different locations and um, and get you know what we needed. Uh, it's just a matter of talking to the guys. Now, I I think a little bit later on, I'd like to see that to be a little bit harder. Uh, maybe you have to. You know, do something for each individual um, acolyte, if you will, or each individual teacher. Uh, maybe you have to, you know, for the cannibal, you have to bring him sacrifices, you know, bring him thralls to to sacrifice in his pit. Or, you know, maybe with miter. I, I don't really know. You know, the, the cannibal one's the only one that really makes sense. But I would like to see that be a little bit harder in the future. Because right now, that was just, I mean, that was stupid simple. All right, guys. So I'm curious uh, how these altars work. And so what I'm going to do is I think um, eventually I'm going to build a uh, temple to Miter. 
Uh, Miter is the god that I chose initially. Uh, well, I chose Krom initially on the, my very first playthrough. But on this server, my very first uh, god that I chose was Miter. And so I was kind of thinking about building a temple, you know, pretty close to, to our base. And uh, I was kind of thinking, like, over here might be kind of cool. Uh, if I can get up there. There we go. Uh, but, oh, yeah, that is where the, the camp is. So maybe over there is better. But um, I was kind of thinking about placing this. Uh, let's see. Okay. Oh, that's the miter one. Interesting. I, I hadn't put two and two together yet. Let's go ahead and place that. And we could take a look here. Um, so we have a shrine. So we can make Mitrian Ankh. Uh, use a ritual of purification of the dead. Uh, a dish purported to be blessed by the god Lingering Essence. Uh, offering to Mitra an upgrade to tier 2, which is brick, manifestation, zeal, um, shaped wood, and iron reinforcements. So I kind of want to make this. Let's go ahead. I need 20 more stone. It shouldn't be too tough. Actually, I think I'll probably be able to just pick up what I need, like, right around here uh, without actually going down anywhere. All right. So we come up, put that in, and we'll make the Ankh because I'm really, I'm not sure what that does. Now, I also have this priest uh, that I can go ahead and put on here. And so he's going to to do his thing all right interesting i guess makes the crafting go a little bit uh, faster and whatnot uh so now we have a manifestation zeal so i guess anytime you use that okay interesting um so that is now a weapon maybe um let's let's go kill let's go kill this hyena all right we killed it now oh hi Okay, so now if I take that and I hit these guys, I get savory flesh. Okay, maybe it has to be humans. Uh, let's let's test that theory. Maybe it has to be humans. I, I don't I don't entirely know how this works. I've never really done anything with um, with the religions before, so it is always interesting to test and find out. All right, so just get this guy. Okay, so we got three lingering essence from him. Interesting. Okay. Oh, he just shot me square in the face. Uh, let's dodge his attack. Yeah. yeah. All right. All right. So that one's down. Oh, another fighter coming in. That was a performer. All right. So now I can take this and I can hit these guys. Okay. All right, so we got our Ankh. We've, we've you know, purified. Uh, I don't want to say purify the flesh because I think that's a Chrome thing. Um, or not a Chrome thing. A um, miter set. Uh, what's the other one? I don't remember. I can look it up. Uh, Yog. It's a Yog thing. Oh, what's up, dude? You want to come over to my temple? I dare you to come over to my temple. I will murderize your face and take your lingering essence. All right, got it. All right, cool. Um, so, yeah, we'll take this guy out. Get some more. I can't believe you get hide off of humans. That's, that's always a little weird. Um, all right, so we got that. Let's come back up here. And take a look. Uh, so we can take these lingering essence and put them in there, and we'll get ambrosia, so I can craft that. Now I'm I'm curious, I'm curious what the ambrosia is good for. So let's go ahead uh, and and try it. So we get regeneration. Uh, so ambrosia looks like just regeneration, whereas the uh, purified flesh that we get from Yog from Mazion uh, actually gave us food and um and water as well doesn't look like we're gonna get the same benefits from this guy as we did from that one but it's still cool it's still very cool and i think slip gators actually set and you know of course mazion is yog so it's it's definitely interesting to uh, to try it out and i think that might be mazion 
doing uh, some of his daily crafting. So, all right, guys, I hope you enjoyed. I definitely learned a lot today and will be doing more stuff with the religions. Um, I Probably next episode, I might start building a temple to miter. Yeah, definitely. All right, guys, have a good one. Bonus clip, Sandstorm! Oh my god! Oh, here it comes. Oh, look at it. Oh, I'll look at it in all its glory. Put the pickaxe away, man. Holy cow! There it is. There's the Sandstorm. That is... That is kind of terrifying. And amazing. All at the same time. Oh, goodness. All right, I'm going back to gathering. Bonus clip. <laughs>